Hey everyone, it's Anahata, how are you? Um, I am in cleaning mode, so I'm not gonna put the camera on me, plus um, my cat's much more interesting. <laughs> um, was rolling around this morning in bed thinking, um, you know, down a rabbit hole of psychology, because that's what I'm into, and peak performance, and getting people to really go after what they want in life. And something happened to me yesterday. I saw one of my friends had posted on their Instagram a cover of a magazine they were on. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I was like, my first response was, wow, incredible. Look at them. They look so beautiful. Um, and, you know, just, I was like, wow, this is really great for them. And then it quickly slipped into this really weird space of, uh, I, I should be able to do that. Why can't I do that? Right. And, and then into an even stranger thought, uh, you know, I should be able to do that. You know, is there something, you know, flawed with me, etc. And then I just like was observing the observer because that's what I, teach people to do is metacognition where it's like, who, who is this person? Um, you know, you're, you are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions. You are something much more than that. That's just your persona. And so these stories we play in our head, um, are responses to the world are going to be what magnetizes the experiences to us. And so in terms of just productivity and getting to where you want to be, which thoughts serve you? You know, we really need to start flipping the script on all of that. And so I got to thinking, you know, how does that dynamic work from a energetic level? How is your feeling magnetizing what comes next? And so try this on because it's really powerful when you get this and it can transform your life. Um, I'm getting ready to go um, be on our catamaran. Well, it's my boyfriend's, but he's my love bug. We've been together three, over three years. Um, and it's in, you know, the British Virgin Islands. And, and I'm, I'm leading you through this so that you're like, okay, I get it. Now I get it. Um, and so I'm going to clean the house and one of my amazing mentors is, um, coming over to be with my, my babies. That's Merlin there. Merlinda. And over there is Mr. Man, Midioc. Anyway, so getting ready, doing this, um, going to the British Virgin Islands on a 62 foot catamaran sailing around. It's freaking next level stuff. And how are you responding to that? You know, when I tell people how I magnetized Mark within 24 hours doing a love elixir water bending, um, it, it's met with a bunch of responses. Some flat out say bullshit. Yeah, yeah, right. That's not true. And that's their way of coping with it. Now, following that train of thought, if you think it's BS, then the world will show that to you. You're closing off that magical opportunity to believe that there is something so amazing <laughs> that can happen so quickly. Um, or you could be of the type that says, oh, you know, like that's not um, something that would ever happen to me. And you can fall into the victim mode and then the world will prove that to you. Correct. That, that, is something that would never happen to you. Um, so we get what we believe and we feel the way we think. And a lot of our thoughts are on autopilot default. It's just reactionary. So we've got to, first of all, start bringing awareness into the equation. Um, let's go down the jealousy route. Some of you could be going, oh my God, I'm so jealous. You know, what makes her so special? How can she do, you know, whatever, whatever you want to entertain within you, uh, the envy card. Is that one productive? Well, no, because it eventually comes to a vibrational 
component of um, resentment, potentially, right? And um, why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you this because you are in the driver's seat. The more aware you become day by day, moment by moment, emotion by emotion, thought by thought, you can catch these things sooner and flip them. You can do what I call flipping the resistance. And now I teach you techniques um, to master your response. It's called flow state technique um, inside my liquid plan. It's a 29.5 day journey, daily 20 minute coaching sessions and a ridiculous amount of resources for any topic I go into through the cycle for you to dive deeper. Um, but it's really self mastery and flow state hacks. Um, we use hypnotherapy, energy psychology, quantum jumping, um, water bending, and, and much more. So point being is the first step is awareness. And then, you know, feathering that out, like if you have a response, a, a visceral response to something that's negative, um, that makes you feel bad, follow that trail. Where is it going if you entertain that? And, and what default responses within you are responsible for it in the first place? And, and where is that emotion going to take you? In fact, it's not going to take you. It's going to magnetize those affirmations. It's called the reticular activating system. Um, the 29 day journey is really rooted in neuroscience as well. And so there's a part of your brain that is basically hashtagging everything, um, to make it important because, you know, you have 10 million bits of information coming at you every second and your brain will only process 50. It seems like a lot, 50, but not out of 10 million. <laughs> so oh, we've got, we're running on default and those default patterns um, sometimes serve us, sometimes they don't, but you can, your, your brain is plastic. You can um, remold it. So neuroplasticity, uh, I work with everyone in the um, liquid plan to rewire your brain to serve you, to, to align with the goals that you desire. And so all of this is transferable. You, you can actually transmute becoming aware sooner of where you're headed and adjust because it's, it's all energy and information. You know, um, worry and anxiety about something, it's not different than excitement. It's just on a, on the different, on, on a different end of that vibration. One, one is expansive, uh, empowering, growing, feels good. And the other end is destructive, um, you know, fear-based and restrictive. And then, you know, we live in this avatar, this video game where, where like attracts like, and you'll get what you believe. And that reticular, reticular rather, activating system is going to be programmed based on what you deem important. So when you are more and more aware beforehand, right? Not unconsciously. And so I challenge you, like, if you, if you do um, feel jealous that I get to go do this, you know, um, what would be the outcome of following through with that vibrationally? It would probably, you could follow the rabbit hole, but it will result in, I'm not good enough, you, not, not me. Um, you'd be saying vibrationally, I'm not good enough, nothing like that could ever happen to me. But it, it gets really tricky because you'd never think that. And it could even be motivating. Uh, you could be like, oh, wow. If, if she can do it, then certainly I can, you know, absolutely. And you could use it as a motivator. Um, so, so it can be productive. However, a lot of times it doesn't go that well. And if you fall short, then you come to the same conclusion. Instead, you could, um, just 
really flip the resistance. And uh, an easy way to do this with regards to responding to your environment is to strip it down to its most pure form. Um, it's easy to do in nat nature, but with other people it's tricky. But um, I like to do the one where you imagine that person as a child. And of course you'd be happy. If you were looking at me and I was a three-year-old you know, five-year-old, whatever, and I'm like, oh, I get to go on a catamaran. You'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing, right? You would. But it's these, you know, roles we play and these personas we build, which, you know, personality, persona is just means mask, um, that then end up um, making us feel differently about the circumstance. And so, I could go on and on and on about this. I, I'm gonna wrap up. My point is, the sooner you can see that your response isn't going to serve you, because that vibration is only gonna bring more and more proof through your RAS, your reticular activating system, hashtagged as reality, right? Um, and then you'll affirm that. And it gets very convincing. You know, it gets convincing because you're like, well, it's true because it's true. Do you see it? Well, I, I do see it, but it's not everyone's truth. I always say your truth is your truth and it's true, but do you want it to be? And you can flip it. What's true for you will show itself to you through that RAS. And neuroplasticity means you don't have to be stuck in any story. And, but, it, but it will take awareness and then using certain tools and techniques to edit, to edit that story in real time and then practice that edit. And the more you practice that edit, it goes from a chemical change in your brain into a structural change. And then if you practice it long enough, it goes to default. It goes to default and that's just your natural response. You know, you can think of someone who's really curmudgeoned and just like, oh, you know, nothing's ever working out and ho hum. And, and, and if you follow that back to the first few times they thought that, um, that was their chance. And, and it's not too late, but it's, you know, going to take a lot of, um, rewiring to, to quote unquote, get to a better place. And I don't want to say fix it because there's nothing wrong. You know, emotions aren't good or bad. They just feel good or bad. That's all. So you can certainly dwell in those places and, and there's nothing wrong with it or bad about it. It's just do, does it make you feel good? <laughs> and, um, you know, the ultimate Zen is to just to have no, um, reaction, right? Um, but I believe you're missing the, the highs and lows of life. And I, I love polarity, you know, for me, uh, flipping the resistance when the shit hits the fan, Oh, that guy over there is uh, doing some yard work, so I better get going. Um, anyway, I, I love viewing my challenges as op optimization data. Um, ooh, what's going to happen? What What's the lesson here for me to improve, for me to either get the skills I need to overcome them, or um, is this a small tower moment bringing me around to um, the outcome that I can't imagine w would have been this this good, right? Anyway, um, come train with us. It's so much fun. Um, and my dog's going to bark, so I'm going to let you go. But go to aliquidplan.com. We start soon on June 21st. So if you want to join us, do so. Um, it's It's really revolutionary stuff, FST, flow state technique, um, peak performance, goal setting, achievement, um, emotional regulation, whole brain thinking, um, heart brain coherence. Uh, we use water bending, hypnotherapy, quantum jumping. Um, and by the way, you can get uh, certified in my technique. And you, if you're a coach specifically, it's really an amazing um, level up because obviously as a coach, you want to get results for your students. That's the name of the game. Otherwise, you'll go out of business. You need to really, um, and the more results you get for your students, the more recognition and the more recognition, the higher um, rates you can um, command. And so it's this uh, really nice cherry, this FST component. And, and if you want to get certified, I am hosting um, a free workshop. And I'll put the link in the description of this video too. Um, it's not a 
it's not an easy URL to, to just rattle off, um, but the a liquid plan one is. So check out aliquidplan.com if you want to participate and experience FST firsthand. It's fast. <laughs> it's so fast. And um, it's amazing. And, and the people that are doing it are doing it. That's the thing. It's like, it's not hypothetical, thought-based. Um, we, we dive in and we do it. And then the transformations come. And when they do, it feels so good. And then we do more. And then more transformations come. And one of the things my students always say is, how can it get any better than this? Like, how is it going to? Because they know, they've come to learn to expect that it, that it is. It absolutely is. Um, and they've fully embodied their um, sovereign right to be the main character of their life. And I wish you well today and always come join us. I'll put the link uh, for you coaches uh, in the description of this video as well. Um, what else was I going to say? I will... Uh, yeah, and if you, you aren't a coach yet but want to be, you know, if you want to be able to have that laptop lifestyle working, you know, wherever you want, whenever you want, I'm going to be on the boat for the next two weeks and you'll be seeing me doing videos. Um, but I hope that this mini session was helpful in helping you realize the first step is awareness and following that path and knowing that you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions and getting that met metacognition going to understand that all of your thoughts and emotions do have a, an effect on your truth and what you will experience and what will be validated. And that through neuroplasticity, you can s catch those things sooner and flip the resistance um, into ways that serve you and the planet and that feel good, right? Lifting everyone up, supporting everyone, becoming um, naturally supportive, optimistic, excited, uh, joyful, and um, it's fun. <laughs> Life is so good. All right, guys, much love. We will chat soon. Hey, Bridget, nice to see you. All right, we'll chat soon. Bye for now.